Yes, Mike joining us for a significant reason we're going to get to. Uh, Jack FM, it's a Monday tradition. Matt and Eric, uh, last time we chatted with you guys, you were being kind of scroogey. You were talking mm -hmm. about your Yule rules, but it mm -hmm. turns out you, you're kind of nice after all. It turns out we are nice. Toys for Teens, our campaign, want to talk about that. However, I want this on the record, Tara. If you look at my shirt, Eric can attest to the oh. fact I'm not normally a Jersey guy. I'm not pulling an Andrew Schultz. There's a household bet because my wife is from Saskatchewan. Okay, because I was going to say, I know that yeah. you're not a Sasky, so this, yes, you must have lost a bet. Exactly. Uh, I'm very sorry for you. <laughs> now, uh, to uh, Toys for Teens, this is, uh, tell us about the campaign because I think Mike Yanni, our gadget guy, probably has some great ideas too. But first of all, tee it up for us. Uh, we get it underway. Uh, toys for Teens begins today right through until Christmas as we collect toys for teens through the Salvation Army, London Drugs, and uh, some other locales you're invited to drop stuff off at. Like we've been down to the uh, Salvation Army's headquarters uh, for several years. We go down to their warehouse and there's a gaping hole in that area where people donate and people are so generous. You see so many, you know, thousands of plush toys and stuff for young kids and other toys for little kids. But for the teens, there's this gaping hole and so we need to fill that. And we're doing it by encouraging people to uh, drop off, you know, donations or gifts. Gift cards is Gift great cards is the teams. best possible way. My wife, who's far smarter than I, uh, has a great idea. She cashed in all those blue air miles that we have right. to get little gift cards, $25 gift ah. cards. Get a That's bunch of idea. those and then donate them to Toys for Teens. We would love that. S that segment from 7 till 16 years of age is yeah. really underserved at this time of year. Okay, so Mike has a few ideas. Uh, why don't you uh, tell us what those are? Yeah, that's a tough segment, right? Because, you know, a lot of toys are too young for them, right. so you want to find something cool. But headphones, headphones are amazing because teens love music, so that's a great idea. And they're not very they expensive. Love music. It's great. <laughs> video games, <laughs> you can't go yeah. wrong with video games, right? Yeah. Uh, and if you don't want to spend that much, uh, like the iTunes gift cards that you mentioned, or something actually that's really cool too is ebook readers. Ebook readers start at 50 bucks. And they're great because not only is it educational, but they can actually bring them to school, and it's fun to do their homework on them. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that, guy, that guy's smart. That guy's smart. He is smart. How can we all normally have smart guys on your show? <laughs> <laughs> we just don't put him, we don't want the contrast with you, right? Whoa, so we yeah. just don't want him in the same segment with you guys. I, I think that was hurtful. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was. I can't figure I it out. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Toys for Teens, more information can be found at jackfm.ca. Good morning to the Salvation Army. And once again, uh, London Drugs, yep. South, uh, Southside Burger. Metro Ford and Pro Hockey Life. You can drop off uh, unwrapped presents or gift cards, whatever you may, for Toys for Teens. We'd really appreciate it. A great campaign, Matt and Eric from yes. Jack FM, and uh, I'm assuming the information is on your website as well? Sure is. JackFM.ca. Okay, we'll post it on our website too, breakfasttelevision.ca. Uh, thanks, guys, and I'm sure you'll want to take a shower, Matt, after wearing that shirt. <laughs> Bye, Tara. Bye, smart guy. <laughs> he is a smart guy. We like him a lot. Uh, and